Alright, so we're back into it here. I looked on Bullpedia, I, I like finally managed to get it loaded, and I noticed that, um, I did go a bit over like what I said I was going to do before. Like I said, I was going to try to pace my episodes based on the uh, Bulbapedia walkthrough they have. But, okay, there's, I gotta kind of think about how I'm going to do this here going forwards. First thing, I'm going to try to catch a Pidgey a couple more times. I'm pretty sure if I attack it, I am going to just kill it. And I'm using all the wrong, I only have one Pokeball left. So I just gotta hope for a good block. Well, that's five Pokeballs. I guess that's a good, like, guide for how much we want to do per route. So I guess that's it. It kind of sucks there's not a run, but... I'm not looking at the game part of the time. Um, so there is a rival fight you're supposed to do. I mean, you're not supposed to do it. It's an optional, but... I'm thinking I do want to do it here, going forwards. But I'm worried about, like, losing money, so I am gonna get... Antidote heals poison, I think. Actually, I'm gonna get, uh... I don't like how it boots you back to the top. I'm gonna get, like... I never used items and that kind of thing. I guess I should probably get one more. I'm sorry. My gameplay um, in shops is always terrible. I like how they let you go past. That's... All right, so we are gonna... Uh, I don't know whether or not I'm gonna do the rival fight, because I'm pretty sure his Pokemon are level like 8 and 9, and we are not ready for a fight like that right now, so we're not gonna start with it, definitely. But, I heard that it's there until you get, um, until you beat Brock. And so I'm thinking I might be able to do at least a little bit of Viridian Forest and then come back and do the rival fight. I, I've never talked to you, guy. Let's, let's give an assault the old traditional apology, apparently. <clears throat> right. Sorry, I hope you don't hear my gross noises. I heard that he fails the catch in this game, too. Is this like a joke for... That just happened to me. A joke for people who play Red and Blue? I know how the guy feels, though. Yeah, so are we going to? Alright, so this is... I don't remember, is this a route? Or... yeah. I don't know whether or not I should go in the grass to catch some Pokémon or not. I probably should, right? I don't want to take up, like, too much of your guys' time with just me wandering around in the grass, but... Yeah, there's no, um, catch indicator, so I'm gonna have to keep track of what I've caught on, a, like, a notepad here. I got a Rattata. Two Pokémon. So it makes it pretty easy. I think... Or two south. It does have a Nidoran. Nidoran. 30%, so... And that's how Pikachu, like, changed how it was faced. Okay, there we go. Level 4. Hopefully we don't kill it with a Thundershock. Okay, surely they're hardier than... yeah. Alright, we can even do a second one with that. And we're gonna attack drop. I forgot how, um... The physical special split works with moves, and of course we get a crit. Of course. Don't level up. Okay. Well, 
How do you feel being a murderer, buddy? Alright, another neat around, the other type. So... They should be able to take a thunder shock too though, right? And we got the para, that's pretty good. Should I, um... At this point, should I even go for another thunder shock, or...? I might as well. And what are the chances of getting two crits at the bed? Alright, no, that's perfect. Alright. Couldn't have asked for it to go better. This should catch. Alright. So that is a Nidoran male we have now. Poisonous sting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going a little slow to me because I'm trying to come up with a good nickname for it. I didn't think of one, so I'm just gonna... Banless, sure. Banlash. There we go, that sucks, but... What can you do? How you doing, buddy? Alright, seems to like me a bit more. So we now have... A 45% chance running into something new in the grass here. Because yeah, we didn't take any damage from that Nidoran, so we should be good. At least partially. I am gonna switch out Renja and see, like, if we can do some good damage without knocking it out, if we don't just, like, die immediately. That's not great, but unless I get a crit, we should get some, at least one hit in. And they're faster, so if we attack, we're just gonna die anyway, so we might as well just try a Pokeball. Alright, there we go. Docile. Ah uh, no, the ones I've seen haven't been very docile. So we have a Pidgey, I gotta write that down. Yeah, that's one of the quality of life things I was talking about before that I couldn't write, couldn't get, apparently. We've got a pretty good team here, like they're all a little roughed up right now, but it's kind of par for the course. So up next we're going to go into Viridian Forest. There are some trainers to fight, and there's some Pokemon to catch. It's just um, Caterpie really is the only real Pokemon we'd want to catch, but it has a 55% catch rate, so I think It'll be worth it just for, like, expanding the team. Okay. No one here has any items to give us. Yeah, they sure are. Alright, so this should be, okay. Kakuna? Alright, so they... I was thinking, is I think Kakuna is a, um... Like, it's not in yellow in the original. I watched a video a little while before I played this. I think... I forget why, but I think there's like some anime related reason why you don't get a Kakuna in yellow. And so... I don't know if I should have caught that, because like, now I'm thinking about it. 
I guess I just wasted Pokeball, because if we want to complete the Pokedex, we're going to have to get a Weedle first anyways. So we may as well just get one of those. It also means that my chart isn't fully going to be up to date that I'm basing this all on, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm a bit worried too going forward about how my team balance is going to be, like right now I'm kind of relying on Pikachu for everything. Alright, this is more what we wanted. Level 5 too seems pretty good. Like, uh, I know at least when I first played I had a pretty bad habit of letting like one Pokemon I always go to Pokemon Survive for some reason. I always had a bad habit of letting one Pokemon, like, get way ahead of all the others, in terms of level. I, I, I got better for that going forwards, but still. Hairy bug. And we gotta find a good nickname for it. It's gonna be a Beedrill, so... I don't know what it has to do with my name I'm giving it, but I think Discworld, I guess. So we've got a pretty good team here. I don't know what to do here going forward, because like, I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> This is going to be a little painful of a playthrough if you haven't noticed already. I want to get um, some of my other team members up. I think Havelock is the best like candidate for leveling up. It's hard to tell what all these Pokemon are because it's the old... Like... Yeah, and you can't switch between... Pokemon in this game, so... Yeah, Remja. What is Banlash? Banlash is my Nidoran. That'd be worth getting up if I can. Okay, here's the plan. I think we're gonna heal a little bit, and then we're going to, um... We're gonna heal, then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna do a bit of leveling up. Like, I'm gonna rearrange my party. And then... We're going to come back and we're going to fight our rival. We may or may not win, but... It's just kind of how it goes at this point. I don't know whether or not buying those potions was a good idea now, because I think you're supposed to, like, just power through the routes and just keep everything up with your potions. So now if I go to my Pokemon, I guess I'll put Banlash up at front, then Havelock will switch up here, and I don't know what's going to happen to the other two, but I'm trying to balance, like, I'm trying to balance, like, getting all my Pokemon leveled up and just not wasting everyone's time. I don't remember this area. That's the gym. Alright, that makes sense. Uh, one of the quality of life improvements I would have liked would be, like, running shoes. I know a lot of... I think there are some game hacks of this game that do have the running shoes, but this sure isn't one of them. Yeah, we're not gonna follow straight up with the uh, guide then. We're gonna do a bit of training here. I thought this was a trainer, but apparently not. I don't know why I walked to the side there before the fight. I don't know if this hack affects like how good the AIs are at all. But Caterpie, level 7. Yeah, this is my kind of, like, issue with the whole leveling, because 
Are we just gonna get crushed here? Or? Yeah, I think this isn't gonna be... Because we're taking four damage per... I guess we'll do one more and then we'll... Use one of my Pokemon in the back as... Okay, that was not great. We'll use, like, Renja as a pivot. Okay, Renja took that a lot better than I was thinking. Okay, is, like... I forget Banlash's name. Is Banlash bad? Because, like, Renja's doing about as much work here as... Baron Lash seemed to have done. And Renge is a much lower level. Given how Renge is done, I'm gonna like switch out, switch in Ninjorless at this point. Alright, that's not too bad. I don't know how like our speeds compare, but. If they just spam String Shot. Looks like the AIs don't have any improvements. So we should be able to win this at least. Why did String Shot fail there? Because I switched just in Andros just now, so... Like... His speed won't be bottomed out. Caterpie... Let's switch in, um... Havelock, I guess. I know the purists say I should be playing on, like, set mode, but I'm not, so... Yeah, whether or not what my speed is, like, they're faster and this is my last Pokemon, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, what kind of damage are we going for? That's not too bad. If we can get a poison, that'll really help, but it kind of doesn't matter. I think... I'm thinking back to my memory, I think that but it failed message is like it's missing and then that's just like one of the bugs they had back in the day in the old Pokemon games. This is a real slow fight, let me tell ya. Going forward, I might cut out some of this, I might not. I don't know how I'm gonna progress going forwards. We didn't even level up for that. We got, uh, 70 cents. Yeah, I think we can take another fight here. If I go item... I really don't know what I'm doing here, but... We'll try to push a little farther. Yeah, we want to get as many fights as, like, every fight that we have to now at this point. Partially because we're doing these fights for training purposes, and partially because... Um, uh, what was I even gonna say? Partially because when we're backtracking, we don't want to get any, like, unexpected fights. And I think... Yeah, I'm gonna speed up here. Like, for you guys, this is gonna speed up. Alright, well that was painful, but it's good we don't, like, switch out for a stronger attacker, because it means, you know, Banlash is going to get all the experience points, and so it's going to level up. Get all the levels. We are going to switch out, because we're trying to keep... Yeah, we'll switch out Havelock, like, probably going to have to switch back out right away, but... We want to keep all three of our, like, good Pokemon around the same level. And, um, 
Havelock still should be able to take a hit or two. Did a lot of damage there. I guess it did have a type boost, but if we took three damage, we should be able to take about three of those, so we should win this no problem. They're faster, so that has no impact on the fight. I mean, I guess theoretically it could, but yeah, we've won even if they get a crit at this point. And we get a crit, it doesn't matter, so that's nice. And I think we'll keep Havelock in, because Havelock is going to be that. We might end up being able to do another fight. And if this one's just a hardened match again, Havelock's going to be able to, like, take it out by itself. But maybe not for sweet in the next fight, so this should be good, I think. Yeah, well, thanks to our, um... Type boost and the and that poison. This is probably gonna go a lot quicker than the um, the first metapod fight we had in this video. Yeah, look at that nice crit too. All right, and there we go. Havelock's level 7 now. So we, oh, I forgot, I thought they evolved at level 10, but... I guess not. Alright, and for if you haven't played, Havelock will keep his attacking moves, and so... We're still good in terms of, like... Pokemon we have. So I think we can go ahead and do one more fight. I got another potion too, so that's good. Let's kind of recouping our losses here. Alright, what's the point of that um, hook around then? Alright, so unless it's... Alright, good. It's a Kakuna. Do we want to fight Kakuna for the experience points? Yeah, I think so, like... I'll speed through this here for you guys, probably, if it takes a long time, but... This will be, like, a nice, safe way to get experience points. Maybe I won't speed through this, because it probably won't... Oh, yeah, it might, it might take a while. Alright, and there we go. We got a level out of it and everything, so... If we look for Pokemon... Yeah, we're gonna have Enjoyless bleed now. And, uh, of course... Okay, we don't have a Caterpie. Caterpie is what we'd want, so we're not actually gonna catch this Metapod, even though it's something we don't have. Depending on how much- oh yeah, we're gonna kill it for experience points here. Even with the Hardens, it should only take two or three moves. Yeah. Alright, good. That was pretty painless. Alright, and everyone's level 7 now, so we can... Alright, we should be good here. Do one more fight. Do we want to head back and do the rival fight now, though, or...? Cause... 
is the second last fight, so we might just push through at this point. Especially with those potions I bought. Four damage, so we've got four more hits. This should go pretty well. Or I guess we got more than four hits if it doesn't use an attacking move. Alright. If, if for my source is correct, we only have one more trainer to fight on this route. Yeah, I think... I hope Havelock has enough um, PP. Yeah. Havelock's got special, like, it's got a type advantage, so we should be getting, like, really strong hits in here. Or maybe not. Alright, this might be another, like, super long fight that's boring and kind of sucks. Or we get a poison, even still. This is probably going to take a while, so I'll see you when this whole fiasco is over. Or not. Hang on. He has an attacking move, and it did quite a bit. So I am going to have to switch out. I am going to use a Lania here as a pivot. Lania might get a bunch of, like, experience points. Lania's face is also looking a little glitchy, I think. I don't know what the sprite's supposed to look like, but that looks... Is that just what it looks like? Is it supposed to be, like, crying? Or... So I'm surprised Metapod took poison damage right there. Alright, well... Eighty cents. Pretty good. Pretty worth it. At this point, I am going to, um... Okay, yeah. Hopefully Enjoyless um, lasts for the next fight. I'm pretty sure there's only one fight left. If my um, database is telling me correctly. Trainer tips. Don't steal, it's a good tip. Just like in real life, if you take and try to steal someone's pet, they will get mad. And we're kind of breaking even on potions here, too, so... This should be the last fight. And I hope it, I hope it doesn't do too much damage. So that's five. I am risking a crit by leaving Andreas in, but... Alright, so we're going to switch to a pivot now. We are going to use Renya. Now it looks like Renya is going to get in. Maybe not get a hit in, but it could have. Alright, so, Banlash or Havelock? Havelock will do the most damage, so probably our best bet to getting this attack over this fight over quickly. Especially if they use String Shot. Yeah, Havelock's better because if, if they land a Poison, we will get, like, that'll be better to get that as before, like, sooner in the fight. Yeah, and there we go. Alright. I like the whole, like, screen shaky animations that they have. Now that I notice that all the animations are shakes. And yeah. It's, it's still weird to me, like, how they take poison damage before you get your move. Alright, there we go.
Alright, and now we should be home free to get out of here. Right, unless that happens. We've got a high enough level advantage, we should be able to switch. I mean, run away. But just in case, I'm gonna switch. Banlash has the highest HP, so... He's gonna go in the front. And that's Viridian Forest, it looks like. Now, okay. There's one more thing I'm gonna do before this ends. I am gonna backtrack and try the rival fight. So this video is probably gonna skip to that time here from this point. I'm just gonna heal and I'm gonna head back. And we'll catch you up there. Break here at. We're gonna try to catch this Caterpie. I'm gonna take a risk and tackle it. Hopefully, it doesn't knock it out. Alright, now that's. We can get a few hits in then, looks like. I'm gonna go for one more. I think it can take it. You only have two Pokeballs, though, that's a problem. Or it's not a problem. Worm. <laughs> yeah, I do that too. Speed up again. Alright, and there we go. So we got the rifle fight here. This guy's just gonna be like a jerk to it. To us, although he is right. So now we're gonna fight him. I'm gonna try my best, although it doesn't really matter whether or not we win this fight. Still don't really have any like super great ideas for our still so don't really have any diversity in our movesets, so it's just gonna kinda be attack until Oh, okay. So that will normally do seven, so we can stay in for one more round here. Or not, because we've got a defense drop. I leveled up best I could, but I don't think we're gonna win this. To be honest. Like, we're not gonna outspeed here and we don't have much, like, we're not gonna last an attack. Or they can just, like, not attack us. Alright, so we can, might as well just, like, get some hits in while we can. Yeah, alright. We're gonna let out Andrewless now. I notice, I realize giving all my Pokemon nicknames, I don't actually know like what I'm sending out. 
for sure. Alright, so that went well. We'll go level up too, that'll be handy. Thunder Wave, I don't. Normally I would switch for like. For like to share the experience, but it's a thunder wave is 90% um, accurate. Oh, and this game is 100% accuracy and paralyzes the target, so we're just gonna all right. There we go. That's not great, but we got our thunder wave off, so now we can like attack and see how it goes. Gonna be a real jerk, aren't you? Yeah, we're gonna start missing now. Alright, so we got a defense drop, so I gotta keep that in mind, but even still, we should be able to hit, like, tank one attack, right? If they ever do attack. Does this EV even know any attacking? It says it knows tackle, but. If it does, I haven't seen it yet. Do like accuracy stats work different in this game? Oh, no, I guess not. I was gonna say like, are we saturated at three? But no. I'm worried about how much damage a tackle will do. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out. For at this point. We'll use Banlash. Alright, we got a free switch from the para. That's good. And we won! Alright. That went well. And we got a new attack. I think it's just like a stronger attack, so it doesn't really uh, open up anything strategy-wise, but... I like his little walking out music. Alright, so going forwards, I think today's episode took longer than I would have liked it to. And I was about to mention that there are new Pokemon potentially here. We're too strong to attack it unless we switch. So I am just gonna try my last Pokeball. If we don't catch it, we might just have to come back for one later on. Which we don't. So that's cool. But as I was saying... Today's episode, it was like a 40 minute recording session, which I don't mind, I like some games, but I don't think it'll be as good for like watching or for just like flow wise, and so I might be cutting these up into smaller, like, do like parts of the walkthrough in future videos instead of one whole thing, but I don't mind for today. I'm gonna heal and save like it's a good way to close the video, I think. At least for now. And we will end the video on me saving. Yeah, I've been playing for a full hour, probably more than most people would be at this point. And thanks for watching. I don't know why I'm doing an outro, but I am.